The aeropercutaneous laparoscopic cholangiography set with Carlin balloon catheter permits entry into the common cystic duct to identify ductal anomalies and common duct stones. Warning, practitioners must be aware of complications associated with cholangiography, including contrast reactions, injury to the cystic or common duct, pancreatitis, and cholangitis. The aeropercutaneous cholangiography set includes the following components. Curved guide catheter over trocar assembly. Four French 60 centimeter Carlin balloon catheter. One and one fourth milliliter control stroke syringe. Three way stopcock. Flush infusion port of balloon catheter and any attached tubing or stopcock with sterile saline. Be certain to remove all air bubbles. Connect syringe to balloon port on catheter. The balloon port can be identified by its pre attached stopcock valve. Test balloon by inflating with air. To inflate balloon, open balloon stopcock by turning lever parallel to catheter. Inject 0.6 cc of air. Observe balloon for leakage. Deflate balloon and disconnect syringe. Caution. Do not test balloon with saline or water. Fill syringe with 1 half cc of sterile saline or water. Evacuate air from syringe and attach syringe to balloon lumen. Aspirate to evacuate air from extension line and stopcock. Position air pocket behind fluid in syringe. Remove guard from stainless steel trocar. Gently insert trocar into guide catheter until hub is seated firmly against the guide catheter hub. Caution! Beveled tip of trocar should be protruding from catheter tip. Replace guard over assembly to minimize the risk of injury. Make a small incision in the cystic duct as far from the common duct as possible. Select insertion site for trocar guide catheter assembly. Warning: Use caution when selecting site to minimize the risk of puncturing intra-abdominal viscera and inferior epigastric vessels. Remove guard. Puncture skin with a trocar guide catheter assembly using a continuous, controlled, slow forward motion. Monitor entry of assembly through abdominal wall using laparoscope. Hold guide catheter in place and withdraw trocar sufficiently to cover tip. Precaution. The catheter should be inserted and manipulated under direct visualization. Warning. To minimize the risk of damage to internal organs, the trocar must be withdrawn as soon as the abdominal cavity is entered. Advance assembly into abdominal cavity towards cystic duct. Warning. Keep the sharp point of trocar covered by guide catheter to minimize the risk of organ damage. Withdraw trocar completely when guide catheter is near the cystic duct. Position tip of guide catheter adjacent to cystic duct opening. Insert the balloon catheter through the guide catheter into cystic duct. Advance balloon catheter until black band proximal to balloon disappears. To aid with placement, additional black bands are located at 1 cm intervals referenced from the proximal end of the balloon. Precaution. Do not advance the catheter any further than necessary. Precaution. Do not advance the catheter into the common duct. Inject saline through infusion port to verify that tip is not blocked by a valve in the cystic duct. If saline is difficult to inject, reposition catheter. When catheter is positioned in the cystic duct, note fluid level on syringe barrel. Inject 0.1 to 0.2 cc of fluid to inflate balloon approximately 6 millimeters in diameter. For larger cystic ducts, up to 0.6 cc may be used for balloon inflation. Maximum balloon diameter is 8 to 10 millimeters. Caution! Do not inflate latex balloon beyond stated maximum inflation capacity of 0.6 cc. Exceeding this volume will not appreciably increase the diameter of the balloon and will increase the possibility of balloon rupture, cystic duct damage, or obstruction of catheter tip. Turn stopcock level perpendicular to catheter to maintain balloon inflation. Inject radiopaque contrast through infusion port to obtain a cholangiogram. Continue cholangiogram using standard operative procedure. After cholangiogram is completed, turn the lever of balloon stopcock parallel to catheter. Aspirate to deflate balloon. Warning. Deflate the balloon completely prior to withdrawing the catheter to minimize the risk of damage to the cystic or common duct. Withdraw catheter from cystic duct and into guide catheter. Inspect catheters to make sure entire length is withdrawn. For more information or additional support, 
Contact your local Teleflex sales representative or Teleflex surgical support.